Now today I'll be showing you a video tutorial on how to use Invoice to Go on the iPad 2. Invoice to Go is an app that used to make invoices, estimates, purchase orders, and credit memos. It's a really easy to use um, application. It's just right there, bam, boom, easy to use. Anyone can use it. I use Invoice to Go Lite because it's the free version. The full version is about $15 and you really don't get it any much more. So we'll start off by going through the little tabs at the bottom. Right here you got new. You can create a new invoice estimate, purchase order, credit memo. Next we have folders. You can go through your folder, folders of saved invoices, paid invoices, estimate, purchase orders, credit memos. Next we have products. You can add products from your store, virtual store, whatever you're selling or whatever it might be. And here you can see I had a little sample demo earlier. So you can see there's a bar. This is like your dashboard. It shows your sales, your just all your sale info of what you sold and what your customers owe. Your settings. You can set up a logo, you can set up the style, you can do discounts, upload a custom style, which is nice, edit your company details, your tax details, default stuff, database, and your about invoice to go stuff. We'll start off by selecting the style. You can see right here there's over 30 styles to choose from. The only thing benefit more about the paid version of Invoice to Go, you get a lot more styles. But I don't think it's necessary since you already have about 20 here. The one I like the most on here is glass because it just looks nice, looks professional. It just is nice. So we'll use that one. Um, you set up a logo, you can set up any logo you want. You can do clip art from your photos, desktop computer, or internet. So we'll try something from clip art. We'll say this nice, lovely foot right here is going to be our logo. There you go. You can position it wherever you like. Stick it right there. You can make it bigger, smaller. We're going to keep it that nice size. There you go. Done. Alright, you can edit also edit your company details. For this example, I have Google. And then you have your address, whatnot of your company. Country, contact info, that's your personal stuff. And also, it's a nice thing that you can integrate your PayPal to it, which is pretty sweet. So your customers just click and pay, which is really nice. And it just sends it straight to your PayPal. Alright, so let's start off by making a new invoice. Hit new. And then hit create new invoice. So you can see it already has this nice little template of what you need to fill out. You can see up here is my stuff, Google. And right here is just the date, time, the term they have to pay it off, and when it's due. We can customer name right here. You can write the customer name. We can do Bob. His email is going to be Bob at Gmail. Address line is going to be Bob123. Green Drive. Save. There we go. Oh, you also can put shipping address where to ship to. Bob Drive. Save. Alright. You can put your ship date here. The date you're shipping. The product. Amount for shipping. This is your shipping info. For amount, let's say shipping cost three dollars and fifty six cents 
the ship date you can do any date with this nice little date selector so we'll just do today June 20th 21st 2011 ship via UPS priority mail whatever you want we'll use UPS tracking number blah 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 and save nice as you might have seen earlier that sh you can add your own products so I already have the product ham in there so we can just pick from product list which is real nice if you have a store yourself you can just add your product straight in there so pick from product list big ham right there has your description next your quantity maybe they ordered one your rate of how much it costs sixty dollars let's say for a nice juicy big ham right there it added it right there you can have as many products in there as you want and you can see right there with tax and everything it's gonna be sixty dollars without tax for a subtotal your tax with nine percent is gonna be five forty shipping is three fifty six your total is sixty eight ninety six and then you can edit this it can be fully paid or not fully paid so see you can see the balance due is sixty eight ninety six and you can send this off up here viva email or you can print it and send it manually and I'll show you what it looks like a preview look at that BAM nice invoice right there professional nice have your little logo right there nice foot all your info you got your tracking number of the ham right there and down there you got your information of how much you owe or how much they paid or whatever you can see up there is the address of Google or whatever you like to put in and if you integrated PayPal in there they can just once they get this Viva email they can just press pay now and then it's paid and then you're, there you go you got your money so what you can do is ship send Viva email right here say it it already recognized that the email from the customer is bob at gmail dot com so you can just send it out boom bam send there you go that's how to use invoice to go thank you for watching